it's me Farah Panda and today it is a very exciting video I'm bringing you today it's a video about get to know me so this video basically is all about how you guys my viewers my lovely little pandas <laughs> to know more about yours truly Mwah! in this video i'll be answering many questions that many people have asked me i'll be also telling you more about yours truly me um what i like what i dislike and so let's get started so i want to start off by introducing myself to you guys those that are new to my channel my name is farah panda and I live in UK, Birmingham City to be exact <laughs> and um, yeah, the, one of the main questions that I've been asked by many viewers and many people is why you name yourself Farah Panda? Obviously Farah is my name and I really, my favourite favourite animal on the face of this planet is a panda and so I thought to myself like Hmm, Farah Panda. So there you go. That's my secret behind my name. I really, really, really love pandas. I think they're so cute and so cuddly and I love them so, 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 so much. What's your favourite colour? Well, my favourite colour is pink. I bet you thought I was going to say black. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. I really, really love pink oh my god i'm such a girl i'm such a girly girl anything pink i love what is your favorite food i love food so i love anything that is halal if i have to pick my top three foods that i love number one food is a chicken burger i love anything that's got chicken in i don't care what kind of burger it is I, if it's got a chicken in it i will definitely eat it my second favourite food, I guess, is, is noodles. I really, really like noodles. I like any kind of noodles. I love rice noodles. I love egg noodles. I love, uh, you know, them other kind of style noodles. I will eat anything that's got noodle in as well. And also if it's halal. And my third food that I love, egg. I love poach egg. These are one of my favourite foods in the world. Um, so yeah, that's my top three favourite foods that I love. When you are cooking, how come you use uh, onion powder than the actual onion? Now this question has been asked to me by someone um, on my Instagram. And I do have an Instagram folks, so it's under underscore Farah. So do follow me on Instagram if you are on Instagram. So the reason why I choose to use um, onion powder is not anything big. It's because I want something quick. So when I'm making, so I just find it quicker. And yes, I know, I know, using onion, using fresh ingredients in whatever you're cooking will taste actual better than the powder. But I just use powder because it's just more convenient for me do you have kids and how old are you well um, first of all I believe age is just a number <laughs> and yep I am 30 years old oh I am so old not um, but anyway, I am 30 years old and my, I have two children and um, the reason why I haven't shown you guys my two children because I think it'd be better if they are not in my videos because of my own reasons. What is your ethnicity? Oh my goodness, I've been told by many people that... Are you an Arab? Are you Pakistani? Nah, 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 nah. I bet you're Indian, any? Well, actually, I'm neither. When people say to me that, oh, you look like an a Arab, you look like an Indian, you look like a Pakistani, I take it as a compliment. I was like, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
but the truth of the matter is that I am drums everyone I am British Bangladeshi so I am born in the UK and I'm a Bangladeshi and I'm proud of both countries I'm proud of both countries and um, yeah what kind of languages can you speak the my mother tongue is Bengali so majority of the time I'm speaking English as you know because I'm born in the UK and I'm born in the West so I speak English but I tend to struggle a lot I struggle so much in Bengali I talk like I'm a child if I want to say something in Bengali it's like a three-year-old talking because I don't really know, know how to you know have my sentences I cannot speak to adults I'm like a disgrace to the Bengali society <laughs> but when I mean disgrace I don't mean a disgrace disgrace but it's like it's embarrassing for me as I can't you know uh, fluently speak but but folks I can definitely understand Bengali and when I mean Bengali I understand our dialect my family speaks is Sileti Silet basically is a province in Bangladesh I also can speak a few words of Arabic like Kefahalak Ahlan wa Sahlan I can say Habibi that's just a few words in Arabic I do know I can speak a few words in Chinese Ni hao, ni hao ma, wa han hao, wa jiao fa ra ni jiao shen ma ming zi, han gao xin jian jiao ni. De bu qi, xi xi ni, shi, wo bu dong. So them was the phrases in Chinese that I know. So what is your job? Well, right now my job is being a full time mother to my two kids and I try my best to be a good mother, to be a good role model to my kids. A lot of responsibility but I enjoy my job very very much. Have you been traveling? And to which countries? I love 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 traveling. I love to see people, their culture, their backgrounds. I mean I just love to go and explore the world. My first ever trip was to France. I went to France when I was in high school. That after that I've been to Egypt um, two times I've been to Egypt I've been to uh, America uh, New York City I've been to Morocco I've been to Tunisia and I've been to Turkey so and I have been to uh, Bangladesh I went uh, um, probably like four to five times when I was younger to Bangladesh but definitely this year I will be going to Bangladesh and I will be vlogging because I haven't never vlogged before but definitely stay tuned for my vlogs because definitely I'll be vlogging in Bangladesh so yeah they are the countries that I've been to why do you wear your veil? I know I know I know you guys probably itching to ask me that question so here's the answer to it the reason why I wore the veil is not because anyone forced actually it's quite opposite to that actually I chose to wear this so the reason why I started wearing it is because please my lord I know I know I know there are many people that say you don't need to wear that on your face and I, under I understand that I don't need to wear this on my face but I chose to wear this I fear God and I feel fear the day of judgment and I fear fear hellfire so I thought to myself, if I cover myself, then on the day of judgment, uh, may Allah, may God cover my sins on the day of judgment, just like the way I cover myself to please him. That's the reason why I wear my niqab or my veil. So that was my get to know me video. So, um... Don't forget to give it a like if you like my video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because subscribing is free on YouTube wow and leave comments below um, I'll see you next time with me Farah Panda bye